This TED Tips video will cover musical dynamics. Dynamics is the term we use in music to describe the changes in volume. These dynamic changes are used by composers and musicians to aid in motion, expression, excitement, drama and intensity to the music. Within an ensemble, each musical instrument's performance contains a range of dynamics that when combined with all the other instruments has a dramatic effect on the emotion and feel of the piece. There's a whole range of musical terms and markings that we use to communicate these dynamic changes. Let's take a look. This table contains a list of the most common musical terms and markings you'll find within written music. The main dynamic markings fall under two main categories. Piano, which is the Italian word for soft, or forte, which is the Italian word for strong or loud. We use a shorthand letter F symbol for forte and a shorthand letter P symbol for piano. Let's take a look at this range of soft dynamics first. MP is mezzo piano. This means moderately soft. You can think of this like your normal speaking volume. P is piano, which is like a soft speaking voice. PP is the shorthand for pianissimo, which is very soft. It's like if you're in a room with a bunch of people and you don't want them to hear what you're saying to the person sitting next to you. PPP is pianississimo, which is very, very soft. It's like a whisper. So we don't have to be an expert musician to understand what these terms mean. We can understand what they mean just by using our voice. Let's have a look what happens with the loud volumes. MF is mezzo forte, which is moderately loud. That's like talking in front of a group of people, talking at a volume which is just above the normal everyday conversation volume. F is forte, which is loud. You might use this if you're trying to get your point across, or if you're calling for someone's attention from across the street. FF is fortissimo, which is very loud. You're almost shouting now. FFF is fortississimo. It's very, very loud. And now you're just yelling. Shh, calm down. Okay, sorry, sorry. I won't do it again. I'm off. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Wow. Glad he's gone. You can take your fingers out of your ears now. Anyway, that's quite a range, isn't it? And we didn't even play an instrument. And did you notice that it wasn't just the volume that changed? As we got louder, naturally the tone changed and the emotion changed. But that doesn't mean that we just jump between these different volumes. We can gradually get louder, which we would call a crescendo, or we can gradually get quieter, which we'd call a diminuendo. It's all very expressive stuff. That's why being aware of how to use dynamics is such a powerful tool for composers and musicians alike. Let's take a listen to an extract from a piece of music. The dynamics are marked on the piano reduction and they'll be highlighted for you. Even if you can't follow the score completely, you should be able to match up the dynamic symbols with the sounds that you're hearing.
there we go. An example of how varying the dynamics can contribute to the emotion and storytelling in a piece of music. We'll explore the more intricate use of dynamics when we look at the expression and articulation in future videos. I do hope you found this basic overview of dynamics both useful and interesting. And remember, the secret to learning those skills is practice, practice, practice.